In this video, we will discuss the measurement of AC voltage using CRO. To measure the AC voltage, you first switch on CRO. Then you see you have a time per division switch. You have a time per division switch in which you have a time scale from microsecond to second. You see this is your time per division switch and you adjust the time per division switch basically from millisecond range to microsecond range. I have adjusted here in millisecond range so that you will obtain a trace if you adjust it the time per division switch then you will get a trace on the screen on the CRO screen this is the trace on the CRO screen uh, here you have one trace but actually you have two traces because of you have two channels I am bringing the second trace this is the trace for the second channel and this is the trace for the first channel and you can adjust the traces by means of this vertical arrangement uh, you see the vertical arrangement of the trace how you can arrange the trace in vertically that is trace is horizontal but the movement of trace is vertically you see the movement of uh, vertical movement of the trace and you eliminate any one trace to measure the AC voltage because you uh, you will measure one AC volt and you coincide with the X X axis this is your X axis of this CRO you coincide the trace in the X axis and then you take the AC ground DC switch to the AC mode this is the AC ground this is a DC this is ground and this is AC you bring the switch to the AC mode okay this is your AC signal source I have taken a LCR circuit from the LCR circuit I, I have taken a AC signal audio frequency AC signal you see this is the audio frequency AC signal from the LCR circuit and this is the frequency this is the frequency range you, you can take different frequency range and you connect the AC signal you can take any source of AC signal you can take the AC signal from the signal generator but I have taken the AC signal audio frequency AC signal from this LCR meter sorry LCR circuit board you see this is the connection I have taken from the uh, AC signal I have given the AC signal to the cathode ray oscilloscope this is the you see this is the Y channel this is the uh, sorry X channel of the CRO you have two channels X and Y this is channel 1 or you, can, you may say X channel and you have also another channel channel 2 on the right I have taken the X channel and uh, you adjust the time per division switch so that you will get a um, AC um, alternating current wave on the screen and you see the signal is uh, moving but you cannot measure the frequency or time period in a moving signal okay you have to take the same make the signal stagnant or constant you see when I am changing the frequency the signal is changing so you have to adjust the frequency in uh, which frequency you, you have given and uh, from the CRO you measure that frequency this is our motto how to measure AC frequency or AC time period alternating current time period you see I have uh, taken a amplified signal and uh, you see this is the amplified signal the amplitude i have increased the amplitude but again the signal is moving it is not stagnant it is not constant but how you can make this signal constant for the measurement of the peak to peak distance from peak to peak distance of this signal can be measured 
uh, from these uh, divisions and you can do it by means of the trigger you see it there is a level in the trigger mode you have a level and by uh, from this level switch you see i am increasing the level in positive direction the signal is moving again i am decreasing it the level then the signal is constant and now you can measure the uh, time period or frequency and now the time period is equal to sweep time into number of division the sweep time you can calculate from the uh, taken from the time per division switch okay here i have taken the switch time you see the switch time i have taken on uh, uh, 1 1 millisecond you see from the time per division switch 1 millisecond and you measure the number of division from peak to peak if you will take the peak to peak uh, divisions then uh, number of division from one peak to another peak then it will be half of the time period then half of the time period will be equal to sweep time multiplied by the number of division peak to peak uh, divisions here one peak another peak and you calculate the number of divisions and you multiply with the sweep time then you will get the time period and uh, when you take one divided by time period it will be equal to the frequency in this way you can measure the ac um, ac signal the time period of the ac signal